This video is sponsored by Ren. They might fade with the sun All the things you never done All those names I gave Little windows They might fall mad and mad I was supposed to be doing the sheep, but I got distracted. This is a cool one tree and they're really rare. They're only native to this tiny specific area. And this one's flowering right now and its flowers are so incredible. They're such bright pink. I just can't believe it. They're scattered all across the earth. They flower in the trunk just at this time of year and then they fall off. I've never seen one with so many flowers. It's so incredible to see. The sheep are waiting for me, but the sun's just come out, so I'm gonna go for a swim because I can't not. It's so beautiful here. You could climb to the top, live by stars and stay close. Put two days of past and come out line by line. Do the shivers in the face, light my spilling and create a stirring. It's been raining for like a week and we've had no sun and then the sun just came out and it feels so incredible. We've still got weeks more of rain predicted with like I think 80 millimeters tomorrow. <laughs> So I'm just appreciating the sun while it's here. The rain has been intense and beautiful. The summer monsoon arrived and has been constant for weeks. It's hot and humid and everything is drenched. The jackfruit and avocados love the rain, but the powerful storms have knocked most of the mangoes off the trees. The ducks also love the rain-filled days and they waddle from puddle to puddle all day. The goats hate getting their fur wet and hide in their pen until the sun comes out. When there is a break in the shower, they bounce and play excitedly. The summer is filled with so many extremities. With heavy rain and hot sun, abundant harvests and destroyed fruit, fleeting beauty and constant growth. The storms are so wild in the summer. They come suddenly and bring so much force. The days build with humidity so much that by the afternoon, the air feels wet and steamy. 
Suddenly the sky fills with ominous clouds and in an instant the torrential rain falls. The wind comes and sways the trees and the whole landscape comes alive with movement. Tonight, as the sky turned to dark, the most unexpected sunset came. Everything lit up in the most vibrant pink, and the clouds looked like they filled with cool moon flowers. <laughs> At this time of year, the landscape changes so much. The constant rain brought floods, and the creek rose from a soft, flower-filled stream to a raging river. Now the water has receded again, and in its course the flood moved rocks, and the banks are filled with small crystals. In just a week, everything has changed so much and there is so much beauty in every state of the change. After sitting and swimming beneath the beautiful Coolamon flowers, we were inspired to plant a Coolamon on the banks of the water. We planted one here a few weeks ago, and it's going really well. Before we plant, we need to pull out some weeds. With the summer growth, the weeds have become overwhelming. It's such a hard job trying to eliminate them, but we just take it a day at a time. Every time we come past here, we pull out some lantana, and slowly the native plants are able to return. This is the first of the summer floods, but we expect a lot more this season. Our rain events are becoming so much more intense and unpredictable. At this time of year two years ago, there was a huge drought. The whole valley dried, the creek stopped flowing, and fires came burning rainforests that had been untouched by fire. 
We're really excited to partner with Wren this week. Wren is a simple and effective way to make a difference in the climate crisis. Wren is a website where you can calculate your own carbon footprint. By answering a few questions about your lifestyle, you can find out your impacts and how to reduce them. It is so inspiring to see where we can make changes in our life and reduce our impact on the earth. It's impossible to be perfect and reduce your carbon footprint to zero. So after considering your biggest impacts and making meaningful changes, you can offset what you have left. There are options to fund a diverse mix of carbon reduction projects. You can directly fund community tree planting in East Africa and support the planting of over 2 million trees. Once you sign up to make a monthly contribution to offset your carbon footprint, you will receive monthly updates from the projects you support. Head over to the link in our description and the first 100 people will get 10 extra trees planted in their name. I keep imagining these trees growing huge, strong trunks and their flowers falling into the water below. It's amazing to think that this rare tree will grow and watch from this spot for years and years. The flowers fell from the trunks of the Kulamon and covered the ground with the most vibrant pink. When the torrential rain came, the valley caught all the water and the creek swelled and gushed, washing all of the flowers away. After the creek subsided and everything feels so magical, it is so incredible to witness these fleeting moments of nature. The passing beauty is so inspiring. The art of nature has inspired us in our own practices. We were moved to document these fleeting moments through our craft. It is so special to capture the magic of the moment in our complete different ways. When the goats finally stop distracting me, I'm going to paint a picture inspired by Anastasia sitting under the Kulamon tree amongst all the flowers. Just because you miss 
I'm going to try to find something that reminds me of the Kulawan tree in my huge stash of recycled fabric. There's gotta be something in here, but there's so much to sort through. They might fade with I think I'm gonna use this one. It's so beautiful and it's just the color of the Kulawan. It's incredible. But the, my pattern is pretty big and it's pretty small. So I need to find a way to add some, maybe just plain cotton to just a little part of it so that it can all fit. It's a bit confusing, but I'll work it out. This is the scariest part, cutting the pattern, because it's such beautiful fabric, I don't want to stuff it up at all. But I'm not going to cut the sides and instead I'll just sew them down so that they can keep that beautiful trim. And then this will be the hem as well. So all I'm cutting is the sleeves and the neckline out. I just found these matching doilies that are incredible. They match. This is the yellow flower, and then this is the pink flower, and these look so much like cooler one flowers. I can't believe it. I'm using this plain white cotton as the sleeves, which are going to be really big, puffy sleeves. Um, and this was an old bed sheet from my grandma that she was throwing out ages ago, so a big doona cover. And it's such good quality. Come here! Hi! Come here! Oh! Oh! Clover came to visit, which I'm very excited about. He's allowed inside here, which is a bit spoiled. But it's very sweet. I'm finally ready to sew. I don't have much time left because I need to go do the animal soon. But I'm going to try to finish it. I don't know. I'll see. I won't rush it. We could 
Unbend our fingers and let things be Or like big ropes of ivy Singing to tree We could wrap ourselves I finished the bodice part today and then I just need to attach the sleeves and make the cuffs and stuff and then I'm all finished but I have run out of time I need to go do the ducks so I'll come back tomorrow morning maybe There's so many this year. If the rain doesn't knock them off, we are going to have so many lychees. It's dry as a phone, so we drive back home. Spend our night doing nothing. Be I'm going to try to finish it today, which I think I'll be able to do because there's really not much left. I just have to make the sleeves, which I'm excited about because they're always very dramatic. Lots of gather and the fun cough. And I've let the goats out and they're jumping around outside. Maybe Bird will come visit later. Bird, what are you doing? You know, he's too busy jumping. And yes, I think I can finish. I'm almost done. I just need to add the cuffs now. I'm very excited. I'm sewing the cuffs on, which is always the most stressful part. But then I'm finished. I'm finished. It's unbuttoned because I don't, I don't know what buttons to put on yet. So I'm not actually finished, but once I decide I will be. But these will button up and then that puffs the whole sleeve up and it's very dramatic. I really like the sides because I use the side of the doily for the scene and it's so neat and pretty and there's like no waste of the doily at all. This is the only waste from the whole doily so I use every single part except for this and then I'll probably use this somewhere else in the future. She is <laughs> I'm so happy with it. It's always going to be a memory of the Kulamon tree. The music in this video is by Melissa Lingo, a musical storyteller who celebrates the poetic wisdom of Mother Nature. She writes and lives by the seasons and credits her creativity to the constant cycles of creation taking place around her. You can find her links in our description. Thanks so much for watching, and please like and subscribe. Thank you to our patrons. Your support allows us to plant so many trees and continue making these videos.